Hi, I'm here today to bring you the latest fashion tech news that you need to know. My name is Anina and I'm the CEO of 360 Fashion Network. Before we start, if you want to receive this news roundup regularly, then hit that like button and smash that follow as we will be bringing you this news every week to keep you in the know of the top stories we think are important. Alright, first up, making ultra-customized fabrics with DNA technology. Where will designs textile fibers with the desired features, like color and water repellency, built in on DNA level? Successfully eliminating the need to coat, dye or process a finished fabric. Winning the GCA 2020 fast track their journey from scientific prototype to startup. News source, H&M Foundation, Mojo Vision CEO Drew Perkins has begun testing the company's R contact lens. The lens can be worn directly on the eye using medical grade micro batteries and the world's smallest 48 mm micro LED display. So far, tests at the company's Saratoga, California, research lab are limited to one hour increments and are only worn in one eye at a time. This is the first test of its kind and, according to the company, proved to be an overall success. Perkins could interact with a compass, read texts, and view monochromatic images. The R displays are controlled via eye movements and do not require a secondary interface. News source, Extreme Tech, the VR developer My Dearest will debut an R-based gamified novel called Dyschronia, Chronos Alternate later this month. Players will be immersed in an underwater city complete with a 360-degree view of a virtual aquarium. News source, VR Scout, TikTok is the latest social media company to add avatars to its platform. Users can access their avatar through TikTok's camera and build their own custom character based on a variety of templates. TikTok said it would listen to creator feedback and its creator diversity collective to ensure that the avatars which feature a variety of skin tones, hair colors and hair textures are inclusive. News source, dot. LA. Riot Games says it will begin monitoring the voice chats of players in Valorant, its free first-person shooter game, so it can train AI models to auto-detect toxic communications. News source, Vice, and that's it for today. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week, check out our new podcast 360 Fashion or go to 360fashion.net podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode.